Chris's guest room, and I'm intrigued to see what Nikki will do with her $1,000 budget. I'm just putting a coat of Alaskan husk on the walls. It's really gonna brighten up the room. We've painted the bed a lovely charcoal color, but as you can see, the headboard is a little low and with pillows on it, you can barely see it. So why not grab a door? We picked this up at Ikea's As Is section, and if we center it on the headboard, it gives us a little height, and we just have to drill it in. So we're just about to reveal the room to Liz. Are you guys ready out there? Yeah! Okay, come on in. Oh my god, that's so nice. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Thank you. I love it. Love the so lamps nice. and the yeah. light fixture. And do you recognize anything else in the room? Your coffee table. Yeah. yeah, we added just some pillows onto it. Really did absolutely nothing. Just added pillows. So if you want, when grandma's over, she can just move one of the pillows over, put her luggage down or her bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look how I'm gonna think I am in a hotel. <laughs> Now the space was phenomenal. What what are the things that you liked about the space? You Nikki? know what I really liked the lighting fixture. It was perfect for the room because she was going to a transitional style. So because that lampshade had a modern base and that really traditional lampshade, it worked perfectly. Okay. The other thing was that she had no architectural details in the uh, space. So putting those uh, mirrors behind the the lamps uh -huh. kind of added that little bit of detail. And you know how I like to do this like big dramatic wall. So yes. that really made the wall super dramatic. That is very Nikki, right? The <laughs> yes. big drama, right. the big impact. The other thing that I liked was the light fixture. Yes. It was light and airy. So I'm going to actually show you an alternative light and airy um, light fixture. Little Scandinavian, but uh, I'll show you how to make it. Now, Nikki's going to show us how you can make your own DIY light and airy light fixture. And you're going to make this on your own, so you're going to save some money. You don't have to go to the store and buy it. Right. How do we start? So this is what we're going for. This is the end result here. Okay. So, it's not a lot of uh, materials, but it's a little bit involved. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Yep. You're going to start with this um, veneer, natural wood veneer. Yes. Now, I'm going to recommend that you get the natural wood veneer that has sort of like the glue on the back, like an iron-on, mm -hmm. as opposed to the other one, because it's super easy. Otherwise, if you don't get that, you're going to need wood glue. What is the other one? Like, the other one just has nothing on the back? Right. Nothing's on the back of it. Okay. Now, right. we need help with this. Yes. So get the one that uh, has the will glue help on the back. The glue. Iron on. Yes. Got it. So the first thing we're going to do is build the cage. So okay. the two elements that you need are the circular elements, and then you need rectangular elements. Okay. Now, the circular elements and rectangular elements actually determine the, the size of the light shade. So if you want, say you have low ceilings in your living room and you want a really dramatic light fixture, yeah. you would do uh, bigger round ones. And yeah. say if your ceilings are really short, then your rectangular, because that determines the height, you would do shorter um, uh, rectangular pieces. So these are the rectangular right. pieces. So we know that this is going to be a fairly good size. Right. It's like this is pretty a, long a, and big. It, it's pretty long. So I've prepared these before in advance. Now for the rectangular pieces, it's a little bit different because we have these bends on the corner. Right. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take like a scrap piece. I'm using a metal broomstick. Okay. As a guide, it's better to use two people for this. It's easier. Do you want it on the ground? No, or you just can hold, hold it. it. Okay. And what, to create that bend, so there's no bend in this. To create that bend, what you're going to do, once you've measured out where the corners are going to be, you make a little mark on it, mm -hmm. and you mark it, and then you wrap the veneer around, halfway around the broomstick, mm -hmm. and then you iron on behind oh. the line. Not in front of it. Behind the line. Behind so, the line. The veneer is actually, I mean, like we're looking for, it's something that's got a lot of integrity to it. So right. So it's not just going to bend easily. No. Which is why you iron it to really keep that bend exactly. in there. Exactly. So once we do that, we take it off and there's your bend. Hold that up for us so we can see. So right there. And that's ironed uh, so that it's going to stay that way. Right. And just remember, you, you iron behind the line that you've made. Got it. Okay. So like I was saying, it's an iron-on version. So this is our second... Um, our second um, rectangular piece, super okay. easy, and I'm going to show you just attach those together, and I, I promise I will not burn you. That's okay. Can and you see that? There so we go. Everything is just going to be ironed together. This huh? is really, this veneer. oh, it's so easy, and there we That's go. That's so good. Perfect. Okay, so we've got one uh, rectangular piece. Right. And you need two? You need two. You need two of each. Now, okay. to, put the, to put the shade together, what you're going to need to do is 
what you're going to need to do is see when we've put this together mm -hmm. again ironing on all the corners to attach it yeah remember that the distance of the circular pieces is how high the lampshade is going to be and see this top part is a little bit flimsy you just need a, dowels and a, your glue gun mm -hmm. and you use this and you just glue to the top to create a stiff Ah. edge and that's where you can hang the light off of and that's how you create that stiff sturdy edge for your light fixture to be hanging off of got it okay okay now the light sh lampshade so we're using this 100 percent cotton and this is really easy um we want 100 percent cotton because it's a uh, kind of this linen sort of feel to it it's see-through and it gives this kind of lantern sh uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of texture to it and we're gonna nice. use and we're gonna add on these cotton twill um tabs and that's how we're gonna tie that fixture onto the um shade Got Sorry, it. onto the frame. Onto the frame. Right. Yeah. So we, we sew every so often. Now for the tabs, what you want to do is make sure that you add the tabs for every edge, mm -hmm. the connection, but also for in between so that it's easy to, so that it doesn't fall and swoop. Yeah. So I'll show you how to So you tie can measure on. that, like how far apart right. they're supposed to be based what, on the frame. Exactly. So that's why I think two people is easier to do it. But essentially we're just tying this on. I'll just hold that straight for you. So did you, so you, you had to sew that, huh? Uh, I used the iron on uh, edging strip, which okay. I don't recommend that you use because, really? uh, yes, and I'm starting at the wrong edge, but <laughs> you, you have the point. Essentially, um, the reason I'm saying I'm starting at the wrong edge is because I've measured out exactly where these tabs fit. Okay. So even though it's a little bit off, once you've measured out, it'll actually, it'll be, it'll be perfect. So you are supposed to put the fabric though on the outside like you did it here, yes, right? Yes, but you want it to hang because you want to see that natural wood, the natural wood edge. So you yeah. want it to hang, when you're tying it, make sure you tie it a little bit loose so it hangs like this one does. Yeah. It hangs lower. I get it. So that it, you can kind of see that detail because it's yeah. a pretty detail. It is right? pretty. So yeah, you want that all exposed. Right, so just by tying it all the way around, you kind of get that, get that on the end. That shape, that's lovely. Right. Okay, so now that this, now that we're here, mm -hmm. does the bottom just stay free flowing? There's two ways you can do it. You can either do the tabs on the bottom as well and tie it on the edge. Yeah. With this one, I actually liked the way that it looked on the, just hanging, and I just put a little bit, like I just fixed it with some um, thread yeah. so that this piece could stay together so it doesn't, it's not loose and hanging. Okay. But I kind of liked it hanging. It kind of gave that kind of, you know, it's very more casual an, look. It's more of an organic, right. you know, shape. Like it's very Scandinavian inspired with the light wood and then you're using the linen. There's just something very nice and breathable and airy right. and, you know, summer, spring about it. If you're looking for a piece that's not super heavy in your space. Right. So I love it the way it is. That is a great idea. And the last thing you do is just add the light the kit at the top. Fixture. Right. And you just literally tie it. It adds to that sort of casual look to yes. it. So you'll, you'll hang it down and then tie the end at the, uh, tie the top. Yeah, and then you, you mount it, and then you there you go, and then you hang it, and then you've got your DIY light fixture, and you saved lots and lots of money because you made it yourself. This came like about twelve dollars for everything. Twelve dollars. Twelve bucks. Give yeah. it up for Nikki, guys. <laughs>